again in scenario analysis Kanoria Enterprise wishes to evaluate two mutually exclusive projects X and Y. Initial investment 1,20,000. Estimated cash inflow for 8 years. Pessimistic 26,000. Most likely 28,000 and optimistic 36,000. The cutoff rate is 14%. What is the, see another name of required rate of return. Huh? Cutoff rate. What is cutoff rate? I am ready to accept the project only if the project is earning a cutoff rate of 14%. That is my minimum required rate of return. Below which I don't accept the project, above which I accept the project. So it is known as cutoff rate. The discount factor are as follows. So discount factor are given. I am first calculating of X. And believe me, here you cannot do probability analysis. Here you will have to do scenario analysis. What will be scenario analysis? Please try to understand. I am doing first off project X. If I treat pessimistic estimate only, then from 1 to 8 years, my cash flow will be 26,000. What will be present value of cash inflow at the rate of 14%? 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to 8 times GT multiplied by 26,000. 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to M plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. MRC multiplied by 26,000, which is 120,610 minus present value of cash outflow 1,20,000 plus 610 you need to do it for most likely also if the most likely outcomes appears from 1 to 8 years, your cash flow will be 28,000. Present value of cash inflow at the rate of 14%. Let me find out the factor if they have not given. Yes, I will be finding out factor so that it becomes easy for me. 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to M plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, MRC. It is 4.639. 4.639 is the factor. So that I can use every time and just multiply it. 28,000 into 4.639. Uh, 129.892 minus 120,000. 9892 positive. Project X optimistic result 1 to 8 years, then cash flow will be 36,000. Present value of cash inflow at the rate of 14% will be 36,000 into 4.639. 167.004 minus present value of cash outflow is 1,20,000. This will be 47,000. This is for X. I need to also do it for Y, which is having a same project cost, but a different scenario. So pessimistic, most likely and optimistic for project Y. Here the cash flow for 1 to 8 years will be 12,000. 1 to 8 years will be 12,000 multiplied by 4.639. I have found out the factor, uh, present value annuity factor, 12,000 
इंटू फोर पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री नाइन डबल फाइव डबल सिक्स एट माइनस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी फाइव डबल सिक्स एट माइनस वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सिक्सटी फोर डबल थ्री टू नेगेटिव If it is most likely, it is twenty-eight thousand multiplied by four point six three nine one twenty-nine eight nine two minus one lakh twenty thousand nine eight nine. optimistic 1 to 8 years cash flow will be 52000 multiplied by 4.639 52000 multiplied by 4.639 241 to 28 माइनस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड पॉजिटिव एनपीवी ऑफ टू फोर्टी वन नाइन टू एट फोर्टी वन टू टू एट माइनस वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वन ट्वेंटी वन टू टू एट दिस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश आउटफ्लो this is nothing but scenario analysis this is where the difficult part comes in advise management about the acceptly acceptability of project x and y and please understand they are mutually exclusive what does this mean you can select project x or you can select project y we have understood variability in return is nothing but a uh, risk Which project is more risky? Can anyone tell me? Project X or Project Y? Instead of return, you can compare NPV. Is there chances to incur negative NPV in Project X? Is there chances of having negative NPV in Project Y? Yes, Project Y is more risky. Uh, you can just see that standard deviation of project y will be higher than standard deviation of project x you can just uh, uh, see it see the uh, uh, middle cash flow this is 28000 this is 28000 here the minimum is 12000 here the minimum is 26000 here the highest is 52 here the highest is 36 all right so x and y y is more risky x is less risky if you are a pessimist person if you are a less risk ever person you should go for project x otherwise the management should go for project y is it all right in my suggestions to management project y is having more risk and expectation of earning higher npv so risk averse management should go for project y however conservative management should go for project you can write down in your own language but it should make sense right you you just found out that project y is more risky just include in your suggestion 
that project wise more risky x is less risky but when you take more risk there will be an expectation to get higher npv which is 1 lakh 21000 here the highest npv is 47000 so higher the risk higher the reward tell to your management if you want to take the risk you may go for y otherwise you may go for x both are having positive npv in some of the scenarios so you may suggest sometimes uh, x also x is only earning 610 why to conservatism uh, conservative uh, person you are uh, uh, telling to accept project tax because it is covering your required rate of return you are at least earning your required rate of return over and above you will be earning this amount 